Hello, my veteran friends. This week we're going to dive a little bit deeper into uh, open tunings by trying a double drop D song. So what double drop D is, you know, we went through drop D last week where you drop your E string down to the D, you tune it down a full step to where it is uh, an octave apart from your D string. So what double drop D is, is where you now take your highest E string and tune it down to a D as well. So now you've got D, A, D, G, B, D. And what this tu uh, tuning does is it really opens up um, songs in a D to you and gives you even more of a drone than we experienced last week with the drop D. And this is used a lot in um, kind of old Appalachia style, Kentucky bluegrass style stuff. Uh, there was an old song called Shady Grove. Uh, Shady Grove, my love. Shady Grove, my own. Shady Grove, my true. Droning. Peaches in the summertime, apples in the fall. If I can't have the one I love, I don't want none at all. So, um, simple song, but a beautiful song. And uh, those are really, in some versions, the only two chords are a D and then a C. A C add D. But anyway. What I want to focus on today is the D chord. So really you're playing, um, you're using your index finger on the second fret of the third string. And you're using, I'm using my ring finger on the third fret of the second string. And you don't fret anything else. Uh, I'm keeping my middle finger available to do some other stuff, some other fun stuff that we'll go through. So that's a D, or some people call it a D5, uh, but it's a, a modal version of D. It doesn't have the, the third note in it. Um, okay, so that's the D5, or the D we're going to use. Now, to get to the G we're going to use, you keep your ring finger right where it is on the second string third fret and you move your index finger down to the uh, fifth string second fret and this is more of a five string chord that's a G try not to give you the finger there but it's hard not to do that sorry so that's your G and then the only other chord I want to show you today is your A that we used last week in um, rain. That's a five finger or a five string chord, not a five finger chord, a five string chord as well. Um, so that's actually, I looked it up, it's an A seventh sus four is what it's called, but don't worry about that. So your uh, index again is on the uh, fourth string, second fret, and your ring is on the second string, third fret. D. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. And then we go to that G. To the A. So, Man of Constant Sorrow is the song I want to do. And it's got a couple of cool little riffs in it uh, that I want to show you. And it's the reason why we're keeping our middle finger available to do some um, picking and fretting on some of the um, strings, strings that we're not fretting in the chord. So that's really one of the things we do is uh, open fifth string, middle finger on the third fret of the fifth string, and then open fourth string. And I'm hammering. So I'm 
hitting the fifth string without hitting the string again, I'm using my middle finger to fret on the third fret, the fifth string, then I'm plucking the fourth string. enough work uh, there uh, to, do, to do one week's lesson with but um, let me show you one other um, little riff it's how the song closes that's the power of this tuning so you basically got a uh, on your fourth string you're using your middle finger to hit the third fret then open fifth string third fret fifth, fifth string open 6th string, 3rd fret, 6th string open. So it's a nice little... constant sorrow. You've got your D, you've got your G, and you've got your A, A7 sus4. They're all two finger chords. They just require you to uh, kind of wrap your brain around um, a new way of formulating chords. And um, I'm thinking when I first learned how to play guitar, if I learned in this tuning, it would have been a lot easier because usually we'll teach you a C chord and a G chord and they're all three finger chords. But what if you just played a two finger chord and you got that big lush sound out of it? Just a kind of an awesome, awesome way to learn, I think. And there were so many songs that were done with these with this tuning and with these chords. You probably remember that. That's uh, Black Water from the Doobie Brothers. Cinnamon Girl. Uh, Led Zeppelin going to California. I mean, the list goes on, so. Anyway, just a, a, a little bit of a dive into double drop D. I hope you got something out of that. 
and uh, next week we'll get back to standard tuning and we'll we'll go with a, a nice simple three or four chord pop song so anyway hope you enjoyed it everyone have a great week and i look forward to sending you another song next week until then adios amigos <laughs>